Hi, welcome to the next section, Access Control Lists and Shared Directory Management. In this section, we'll take our discussion of DAC a step further. Here, we will take a look at Creating an Access Control List, or ACL Creating an inherited ACL Removing a specific permission Prevent loss of ACLs during a backup Creating a user group and adding members Creating a shared directory Providing access to a file in the shared directory Now we move on to the first video of this section Creating an access control list In this video, we're going to create an access control list for either a user or a group With an ACL, we can allow only a certain person to access a file or directory Or we can allow multiple people to access a file or directory with different permissions for each person If we have a file or directory that's wide open for everyone we can use an ACL to allow different levels of access for either a group or an individual To begin, let's create a text file and use getfacl to see if we have any access control lists already set on the acl underscore demo dot text file All we see here are just the normal permission settings so there's no ACL the first step for setting an ACL is to remove all permissions from everyone except for the user of the file. That's because the default permission settings allow members of the group to have read-write access and others to have read access. Next we will set the ACL using setfacl. Using this you can allow a user or a group to have any combination of read, write or execute privileges. Post that, I check if the permissions are set. And lastly, use the LSL command. The M option of set FACL means that we're about to modify the ACL. The U colon means that we're setting an ACL for a user. We then list the user's name, followed by another colon, and the list of permissions that we want to grant to this user. In this case, we're only allowing Maggie read access. The getfacl output shows that Maggie does indeed have read access. Finally, we see in the lsl output that the group is listed as having read access, even though we've set the 600 permission settings on this file. But there's also a plus sign, which tells us that the file has an ACL. To take this a step further, let's say that I want Frank to have read-write access to this file, so I write this code and check the permissions. As you can see, we can have two or more different ACLs assigned to the same file. In the LSL output, we see that we have read-write permissions set for the group, which is really just a summary of permissions that we've set in the two ACLs. We can set an ACL for group access by replacing the U colon with a G colon colon. We create a file and look at the permissions and then change the permission. As you can see, the members of the accounting group now have read access to this file. 